Here is how to set a compare at price in Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you are all doing great. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a uh, compare at price product uh, or price point and this is going to basically be the sale price. So if you have a sale or want to create a sale for your products, this is how to do it. You will just use the compare at price uh, and it's going to be very easy and uh, straightforward. It's not going to be too complicated. Uh, so let's actually get to the video. So obviously, creating a sale, you will need a previous price before the sale, and you will need an after price, so after the sale. Uh, and it's going to be very easy to set up, and it's going to help you a lot to create more sales. It's just going to drive more people to actually buy the stuff before the sale runs out. So let's actually get to the video without wasting any much time. So to get started, you will need to go to your Shopify dashboard and then you would go to products because you would want to add a product. Uh, so we just go ahead and add product real quick and let's just name it orange because I have colors as images. So let me just upload the orange image to make it look nice a little bit. And then here is going to be the main point of our video, uh, which is the pricing. Here is going to be where you can set the compare at price as you can see here. So on the left, you will put the uh, less lesser price, the after the sale price. Uh, and on the right, which is the compare at price, you would put the price before the sale. So for example, you would make this 15 or let's just do 20 in my currency. Uh, just think of them as dollars if you want. Uh, and then here would be more than 20. So it was, for example, $50, and now it's $20. Now, obviously, it's not dollars, but let's just say it is. Uh, and then that's pretty much how to set the compare at price. Uh, and also, in your store, if you just visit your store now, uh, once you hit save and stuff, it's going to actually show the whole sale thing. It's going to show the sale icon and let people know that there's a sale going on uh, for this product. So let me actually just show you. So let me just do a few more things like add uh, item quantity here, for example, and let's just click on save. So now remember orange has a sale. Uh, so let's actually go ahead, go back and go to our online store. And let's just view it. And by the way, there is more stuff that you can do with it. And I will just show you but first, let me talk about how things are going to look like. So if you just go to catalog or whatever uh, page that you have uh, for your products, you can see already that these other products don't have a sale. But here this one, it does say the word sale and it also shows both the new price point and also the uh, price points before the sale. So if we just click on it, you can see now that it is going to include uh, the sale icon here and it's going to be let people know. So what else can you do? So if you just go back, a few things that I will need to note is that if you don't want to add a new product, you can also do the same thing for an existing product. So for example, let's do it for red, which I didn't create just now it was created beforehand. If I just scroll down it's going to be the same thing. So we've got to the compare at price. So let's say the price point was like uh, 70 before. So what we would do is decrease this and then put the 70 right here and just click on save. And uh, again, it's going to be the same process. If we just go back to the catalog page, you will find the sale on red or this product right here. Now, another thing, if we just go to purple, for example, what you can do is if you have variants, you can set the price points for each variant. So for example, here, I've got uh, the purple with a bunch of variants here. So you can see uh, if we go to variants. So if we uh, go to variants, I removed the uh, previous images. So let me just actually do it. So variants, uh, let's just do size, for example, and let's just do small. Uh, and uh, let's do medium. And let's just do large for example, and we just click on done. So now we've got to set two things. The first thing that we, we will need to set for the uh, product with the variants is going to be the same compare at price. Uh, now it is going to be only one compare at price. So only one price beforehand, you can change it for each variant to the best of my knowledge. So you would just do for example, 170, like it was 170. 
Uh, this one is going to be the original. So let's just keep it at 15. And then you would go to the variants here and let's just set uh, some images to them real quick. So I will just set images to each one of them and come back to you. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so once you set the images, the only option that you can change is actually going to be the after price. So uh, the price after the sale. Uh, so for example, let's just do 12 for this one, 11 for this one. It should be the opposite, but it's just for the sake of the example. And here, let's just add some more quantity to them. Oh, my bad. Okay, so let me just do a new number here. Okay, so now that this is done, uh, basically now we, we're going to have a, a product with variants and it's going to also have the sale in it. I'm pretty sure I saved. So if we just view our online store real quick and go to catalog, reload because it didn't load yet. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, I, I don't like this about Shopify. Sometimes it sometimes just takes a little bit of time to actually load. So hopefully this time it should actually show up. Okay, it's really not going to show up any. Okay, so I will actually wait for it until it shows up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so for some reason I actually had to go back to the same page and do the same thing again. Uh, so nothing really changed, I just had to do it again. Maybe I, I didn't save or something like that. Uh, but it's going to work and it's going to show you up like this and it's going to have the sale and also the same thing. So we've got now small, medium and large. And you can see the sale for each variant. So that's another thing that I wanted to mention. And the last thing that I will talk about is going to be actually adding collections to uh, items with sale. And you can do that. So for example, uh, if we just look here, we've got three items with sale now. So all three of them have sale. Let me just add a product without sale. So let me just do green. And I'm not going to include any sale for it just for the sake of this example. So let's just do only price without the compare at price and just save. And now I'll show you what I mean. So if you want to include all items with sale, so orange, purple and red has sale and green does not. What you would do is go to collections and then you will create collection from here and you would just name it, for example, I don't know, fire sale. And you can create a whole page for uh, like items under sale or stuff. So let's just name it fire sale. And wh what we would do is either choose manual if you want to add the products manually. But if what we want is all items under the sale is going to be in here uh, in this collection, what we would do is just, just click on automated. And then we would choose the condition. So we just select all conditions. And then we select the product tag. This This first condition, we don't want it to be to be product tag, we want it to be compare at price. So we just click on compare at price. And then we get to the option if you want it to be is greater than not equal to is equal to but if you want everything that has sale in it, that what you could do is just select is not empty. So if the compare at price is not empty, it's going to be added to this collection. And you can just go ahead and click on save. And now uh, if we just go ahead and scroll down, it's going to show us all the items that are going to have sale in them. And you can add this collection to a sale page. Uh, and it's going to just show up the products that have the sale or compare at price available. So this is basically what you can do with the compare at price from Shopify. I hope it was easy and, um, you know, bit of benefitful. So I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.